Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore here today and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing another set of cards with a Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber Exclusive Limited Edition stamp set. This is the Pocket Full of Happy by Newton's Nook which of course has darling little critters in pockets and lots of sentiments to mix and match for greetings. I thought it would be really fun to take the Hero Arts Infinity t-shirt dies and create our own little t-shirt shaped cards with the pocket full of happy and those t-shirt infinity shapes. So what I'm doing is I have die cut three t-shirts from Smooth White cardstock and we're going to start with the t-shirt shape and there's lots of t-shirts. You can see them there. We're going to take the largest one and we are going to make a card from that in a little bit, but we're going to stamp the card fronts first with the pocket full of happy critters and pockets. So we've got our kitty in the pocket and what I'm doing is I'm kind of trying to imagine the pocket without the cat or critter in it. So I'm positioning it where I think it would go on the shirt, stamping it with Hero Arts intensified black ink. And then with second generation stamping, I am stamping that image again on masking paper, cutting that out and placing it over the image to mask off the pocket with the kitty or puppy, whichever one um, I'm stamping on that particular shirt. We want to mask this because as cute as white t-shirts are, I really wanted color to make the t-shirt pop. And I decided I thought the best way to achieve this and still be able to uh, color in my critter was starting with a white base. We're going to do that with both of the dog in, uh, in the pocket images. So there's two dog in pocket images and one cat in a pocket image. So kind of got the dog, anything for a dog or cat lover, or maybe you like them both. And we're going to do the same thing for all three. Once we have that, we're going to ink up the background of the t-shirt first. We're going to add some stripe detail with stamping, and then we are going to remove the masks and do our coloring. I always like to save the coloring to last because if I mess up something, I have not wasted all that time coloring. Um, let's say we mess up or drop an ink pad on the shirt or it, who knows, maybe you pick the wrong color. I always like to just save that coloring to do for last because that generally is the most time consuming part of that. We are inking up the aqua t-shirt with Lawn Fawn Mermaid and Peacock inks, kind of an ombre effect for each t-shirt. So it's going to be light to dark and the stripes are going to be along the bottom edge of each t-shirt. For our yellow t-shirt, we're using Lawn Fawn Butter and Sunflower inks. I also kind of stuck within inks within um, a certain brand. You could use anything here. I chose dye inks as they may go on a little bit blotchy, but they're going to absorb into the cardstock and smooth out and even lighten a little bit as that ink dries. Um, but you can use any ink that you like here. Totally does not matter. Um, just kind of whatever your personal preference is for inking. But I went ahead and did all my inking first because I am going to stamp back over these with dye inks, but I want to give my t-shirts a chance to dry. It's going to dry fairly quickly, but I still want it to make, to make sure it's all the way dry before I stamp those stripes because I don't want to be stamping on a, a wet surface and have maybe the stripes wick out a little bit and not look really crisp. My red t-shirt is inked with Lawn Fawn, Peachy Keen, and Guava inks. Um, I really like this color combination. This I saved this one for last because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted a yellow shirt and an aqua shirt, and I kind of just tried this on a whim, and I really, I think I might love this one the best. I don't know. Um, really love this color combination. It's always fun when I discover something new when I'm creating a project. I don't know about you guys, but that's always one of my very favorite things. Once we have our inking done, let's go ahead and take our t-shirts back to our Misty, and we're gonna use a stripe from the Simon Says Stamp Botanical Heart Stamp Set. 
I basically just went through my stamp collection and looked for stamp sets that might have border stripe stamps in them. Not necessarily a stamp set dedicated to stripes. However, if you have one, that would be awesome. Um, I just was looking for something that had a stripe that I could create a stripe design on my t-shirt. Then I'm going to place that stripe kind of in the middle of my Misty or, you know, somewhere where I can move my t-shirt up and down and I don't have to move the stamp. And we're going to stamp for the blue t-shirt. We're going to stamp Lawn Fawn Blue Jay and then Peacock, which was that darker color we used for the base. We're gonna alternate those just on the lower part of the card. I'm not gonna take them all the way up to the top. I just want my stripes to be down here along the bottom of each t-shirt. I did stamp them off on scrap paper first. I wanted to make sure that the image was going to stamp really nicely. And then you can see I stamped it on the t-shirt. I'm just gonna move the t-shirt down or up using those lines on the the uh, scrap paper in my Misty as kind of a guide to help me know where to line up the next set of four stripes. And we're alternating dark and light just along the bottom edge. And we're gonna do this for each t-shirt. Very much assembly line style with the, the assembly and creation of these cards today. Isn't that cute? I can't wait to take the masks off so you guys see how, I always think it's magic. When you remove the mask and reveal the image underneath um, and then color it, it just is so magical. I don't know, very, very fun. So there is our first t-shirt. And let's go ahead and just grab our tweezers. I'm kind of anxious to see how it looks without the mask on there. And oh my gosh, how cute is that t-shirt? We still have a few little things to do, like adding some stitching lines and of course coloring and then adding our sentiments, but it is looking really cute. I don't know about you guys, but I love a shaped card. Um, I'd love for you guys to leave me a comment. Tell me if you have created shaped cards. Um, there's a lot of dies out there that are just made for creating shaped cards, but I also think it's really fun to take dies that you have in your collection and come up with your own. Like this t-shirt die is not necessarily a card shape. You can use this on a front of a card, like an A2 card panel, but I thought it would be really fun to make it into a shape. There's also onesies. So maybe if you wanted to do some baby cards, wouldn't those be cute as well? So those are from Hero Arts as well. So please drop me a comment. I'd love to know if you guys make shape cards or if you love shape cards. I always love getting that feedback from you guys in the comments and you know being able to talk to you guys about that stuff there. For my yellow t-shirt, we're using Lawn Fawn number two pencil and then Sunflower, which again is the darker color on the ombre shirt. Um, and then the number two pencil is just a little bit deeper, darker mustard color, which I actually ended up really loving. I, I have to say I was a little nervous. I didn't know if I would like that or not. And I was like, great, I'm going to ruin my shirt and I'll have to do the re whole reason that I don't color ahead of time. I may have to start over. And I ended up absolutely loving it. I think it turned out really, really cute. I will often use some tweezers to remove my masks just because it, it gives you a little bit of an easy way to roll up an edge of that mask there. This masking paper is from Simon Says Stamp. It's my favorite masking paper. I love it. Um, if you see me do masked projects, especially during Stamp Timber here where I've done a lot of masking, I am always using the Simon Says Stamp masking paper. I highly recommend it. It comes in these nice like nine by 11 sheets, I think, and it lasts forever. I save every little bit and scrap to use for masks. The stripes for the kind of red colored tea or peachy red tea is lobster and then guava. And once we have that done and this last mask removed, it is time for the magic of coloring in these cute little pockets. Now, I know I, I said when I'm masking, I save the coloring for last because often it's, it's more intensive, um, more labor intensive and takes a little bit longer. But 
The, the coloring for these cards literally took me hardly any time at all, just because it's a small image, but it makes such a huge impact. I also think it would be fun to maybe make this like a pair of jeans um, and use these critters, not this die, of course, but uh, make like uh, the back of some jeans and use this as a little pocket or whatever. I don't know. There's so many things you can do here. I think the pocket is really a very clever way to introduce these little critters and just a nice little um, accent. Really, really fun. And of course, the name of the stamp set, Pocket Full of Happy, is so cute. Our 35, 37, and 39 were used for the pocket. I tried to do tone on tone, but a nice solid color that makes the pocket stand out. So we want it to tie in with the t-shirt, but we want it to still stand out on its own. The puppy in this pocket is E40, 43, 44, and 47. And he is so, so cute. I always love Newton's Nook puppies and kitties. They do such, and all their critters, they do such a good job um, with their illustrations. They're just so sweet. I really worked to get a good blend here. Um, kind of went back over it a few times, really playing with my markers and getting that. And then we're going to take a white pen and add in some detail there, just some like little whiskers right around the nose. And when we're all finished, we will be adding some glossy accent to the noses on all three critters. I always love to add that little finishing detail so their noses are nice and glossy. Next up, we have the kitty card. For our sweet little kitty, we're gonna do like a little orange tabby in an aqua pocket. I'm going to use BG, BG 32 and 49 for the pocket. So a nice base of BG 32. We'll blend in some BG 49. And then for our cute little orange tabby, my favorite color combination is YR 30, 31, 24, and 27, which ironically is my favorite color combination when coloring pumpkins. So if you're gonna color an orange pumpkin, this is my favorite color combination for that. But it's a great color combination for a little orange tabby as well. I did go in with YR 30 first. There's probably not a ton of YR 30 left in the finished cat, but it's a fantastic base color. R00 will be used for the insides of the kitty's ears. And then I used it for the nose and it really is not dark enough. I did go back with R21 for our kitty's little pink nose. But she's so, so cute. I think that's fun. And I like the yellow against the aqua or the little orangey yellow against the aqua. I think it shows up really nice. Then I did draw in with YR27 some little tabby stripes um, on her face and then on her tail. Isn't she cute? I will mention as well, before starting the stamping and coloring process, I had laid out my sentiments and I had a good idea of kind of where I wanted them to go for each card. Um, just as a plan so I knew where everything would fit and you're gonna see me here in a minute when we add our sentiment part of the reason it's so important to plan that ahead of time is because the first line of our text I didn't want to start all of it below the pocket and I felt like visually it needed to some of the text needed to be up by the pocket and I'll show you that here in just a second but it works out really well if you do a little creative masking with the stamping there. Our last card, the pocket is Y11, 13, and 19 with a black and white puppy created or colored with warm gray 00, 0 2, 5, 8, and 9. Such a sweet little puppy. And again, I love the black and white on the yellow. And the white parts of the puppy were colored with the lightest of the warm gray markers just to give it a nice little bit of shading, but yet not take away from the white part of the fur. 
Now that we have all of our card fronts, um, if there's any little, I think I went in on all of the cheeks for whiskers and added some white pin. Let's put our t-shirts back in our misty and let's start stamping our sentiments. And I'm gonna actually start with the middle part of our sentiment and we're gonna come back to the first line of text. That's because on each card we're using the phrase sending you a, and then the next sentiment we're using is pocket full of, which is what we're stamping first here, and then we're coloring in the outline letters with a dark marker to match the t-shirt so that it really shows up, so the outline word shows up, that the thing that's gonna change on each t-shirt is the last part of text. So on our yellow t-shirt, it's gonna say smiles. On our red t-shirt, positive pa thoughts. And on our aqua t-shirt, birthday wishes. And I love how you can get three completely different occasion cards from one stamp set. Very, very cute and very fun. I'm trying to think, oh, I know, the one sentiment I did not use from the stamp set is thanks for spoiling me. So that would be cute as well. I wanted all of mine to use that sending you a pocket full of sentiment. Once we have the pocket full of all stamped, we're going to add the bottom part of our sentiment to each t-shirt because I'm not doing them all the same. I did pocket full of and just switched the t-shirts out, leaving that stamp in place because it was gonna stamp in the same place on all three cards. And then we're switching out that bottom part before we go back and do some creative stamping and masking with the first line of text. So that's gonna be the one that's gonna kind of come around the pocket and then go into the rest of the t-shirt design. And balance wise, I feel like this worked a lot better than trying to do all of the text down below the pocket, which would run into the bottom of the card. And I don't know, visually, I just didn't like that as well. So we are going to stamp UA first. So it's good. we're just breaking it into two lines. If you feel comfortable, you can trim that clear stamp apart if you want to. I simply take a little, usually post-it tape or a post-it or something, mask off the part I don't want, ink it up, remove the mask, and then uh, stamp it on the project. So that's what I'm doing here. I am simply covering up the part I don't want to ink up, and then we're gonna move the stamp and stamp the second line of text. I did move the stamp with the yellow t-shirt because that is the only pocket t-shirt card with the critter on the left side of the t-shirt, or I guess, yes, I mean, on camera it's the left side. Um, the other two t-shirts, it's going to be on the other side of the t-shirt so we can do both of those exactly the same. Then I'm taking a white pen and we're adding finishing details, which I'm so passionate about in card making. We're adding stitching lines around the sleeves and also around the collar of the shirt, around the neckline. And I think that finishes off where there's a lot of white space, quote unquote white space on the card. It really finishes it off beautifully. Let's go ahead and finish stamping Sending You A on the final two cards. I have a paint, a dry paintbrush handy to remove any embossing flakes that might have stuck anywhere on the colored portion of this. So you can see I did part of it here. I didn't have to move my stamp at all to stamp this again since the pocket's on the same side for these two cards. And then I can clean my stamp and I can move it. And again, I won't have to move it to stamp both of these. And this is where we're we're uh, stamping the word sending. Once we have that done and we have all of the stitching detail added to our t-shirts, we are ready to create our card bases. The easiest way I found to create a card base is I'm taking some pre-made card bases. These are side fold cards from Simon Says Stamp. 
We're going to take our t-shirt infinity die and I am going to line this up with that top crease of the card because we want it to still open up. And I just like to use a pre-made card. We're lining up the bottom of the t-shirt die with the bottom of the card. And then we're going to run that through our die cutting machine and then just peel away any of this excess. And I'll show you when I pop all of this off, when you open it, it still will open just like a card, but it's now a t-shirt shaped card, which is so, so cute and so fun. Again, I think shaped cards are really a fun little trend that I don't see going anywhere. And it's great to find ways to use some of the dies we might have in new ways. Now we're going to just put some nice adhesive all over the front of our card and replace the t-shirt right on front. And look at that, we have some t-shirt shaped cards. The final thing I'm going to do here is add some heart accents and then glossy accents for the critters noses. These white heart accents are all from, um, the big ones are from Lucy's Little Things. These are the Sprinkles Big Hearts in white. And then the small ones are white Trinity Stamps Fun Fetty heart accents. And they're all dimensional, but they're very low dimension. I picked white ones and I used white on all three cards just to add a fun little embellishment. And that is it for today's Stamp Timber video featuring the Newton's Nook exclusive limited edition stamp set called Pocket Full of Happy. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber exclusives that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here and we'll see you next time.